Guys, we wanted to record a, a message for our developing uh, leader program candidates. Uh, two things really. Um, the first thing is, as you know, we do this sort of stuff. We like to challenge ourselves and, and push ourselves, uh, I guess in a way to prove to you guys that it's not just kind of talk, but we put into practice the techniques and the skills that we then talk to you about in a kind of more corporate context than, than this particular environment. Uh, before I go into, or Paul goes into leadership styles we're gonna talk about for a minute, I guess I should put it into context. We've spent six months training. Uh, we've spent a week high in the altitude uh, up here, pushing ourselves. And uh, unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to make our summit of Mont Blanc. And the reason for that is that, although the information is good, and the camera is probably behind me showing you the high peaks and the beautiful sunset that's going on up here, but the intelligence says that a summit attempt could be potentially fatal. There's too much snow and too high wind at altitude for you to attempt us that. So I guess the message here is that the training is never wasted uh, and actually the leadership styles that we'll talk about in a second that we've employed, um, even though we haven't got the outcome we've wanted to, have put us in a position to succeed and have got us this far, Paul. Yeah, so if we think about the sort of leadership styles that we've been putting into practice, we've got myself, we've got Tim, and we've got our guide, Mark. Uh, Tim obviously brings a huge amount of experience from very high altitude uh, mountaineering from Everest. I've got a lot, I've spent many, many years out in the, uh, out in the wilds of uh, Svalbard and Norway in the Arctic, but not at the altitudes that, uh, that Tim knows all about. And obviously Mark is the expert in this environment. He's the one who's summited and come down from Mont Blanc over many, many years. So interestingly, we are all experts bringing different parts to the party uh, and so rightly so I believe the leadership styles that we've sort of gone with is a very democratic sort of uh, first amongst equals whoever was uh, needing to bring the information or the intelligence at that point is the one that gets listened to it's not the you're the guide you make all the decisions it's okay well Tim what do you think Paul what do you think Mark yes okay at the end of the day he's the guide and he's the one who makes the final decision but uh, we've been working extremely collaboratively uh, and uh, you know, constantly chatting, discussing, talking about it, and ultimately making a, a, a disappointing decision, but definitely uh, I feel the right one. Yeah, I, I agree. And I, and I think actually the other point that's probably worth mentioning is that we've spoken to you all about setting the conditions where it's okay to question a leader. Uh, and what I would say is that um, we've covered some quite steep grounds in the last few days. <laughs> Uh, and in fact, you can probably see behind us, there's an erect uh, knife edge that we had to walk down and, and you wouldn't stop falling till you hit Chamonix. <laughs> um, and what was really important is at no stage have any of us felt under pressure not to be able to speak up. So in an area where Paul's been taking decisions about going round crevasses, etc., uh, all the time, although taking responsibility, it's been very collaborative in so much as I've never felt at any stage I couldn't say, hey guys, I'm not happy with this, or this is making me nervous, or even just I need a breather at this altitude. And I think what's made the team successful mm. over the last week or so is that ability to, yes, take uh, decisive, effective decisions, but also in a way that we've not been afraid to talk to each other and, can, and say, hey, do you know what? I'm a bit tired right now, I'm a bit cold right now, or I don't like the look of that very much, which has then that's not a weakness, that's double checking the decision. Do you think that's fair, Paul? Yeah, I think it is. I think it's a it's a very good situation where everyone brings something different to the party and everyone feels listened to uh, and respected for what they are bringing, uh, which is uh, ultimately why I feel that we're quite a good team all together, I would like to say. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, anyway, guys, that's it, enough from us from here at 3,800 metres. <laughs> Uh, we're looking forward to seeing you next. Some of you, in fact, I'm going to see you next week uh, doing presentation training. And we're going to put you in for another camera. Only what I would say to you is we're probably not going to balance that uh, camera on an ice edge to red <laughs> and get you to put your crampons on and, and stand where we are. Uh, and we'll talk about presenting in, uh, in more confidence in different places next week. So I'll see you guys next week.